about championship. Let's fast. Let's, let's go to our next topic. We are gonna do a little halfway point finals prediction, man. Uh, right now, I'm gonna top. I'm gonna start it off. Right now, out of the West, I'm gonna pick the Lakers because until somebody beat LeBron and Anthony Davis together in a seven game series, I'm not gonna pick again. And out East. I'm going to stick with my prediction because so far it's been right. I said if Philadelphia 76 do not trade for James Harden, they will win the East. And right now, it's the number one team in the Are East. Are you serious Joel, right now? Joel, Joel Embiid is in, the best player in the East this year. Ben Simmons is the best defender in the East. And they, when, it come to, when it come down to a seven-game series between the Nets, I know that's what you're going to pick, and the Sixers. Steve Nash can't coach. Mike D'Antoni, I know he was coach Houston. He can't coach the big one. And I think Doc Rivers will put them over the top. And the Philadelphia 76ers will win the East. The Philadelphia 76ers. I said you're, so, you're so lucky we're not on the actual set right now. If we were, I'll just walk off. That's how I'm, I'm embarrassed to even said those two teams. I don't know where to start. Philly and the Lakers. I can brotherly love I guess, and California love. I guess I'll start with the Western Conference. I'm going to say the Clippers. Okay. I'm going to have to say the Clippers. The way I what? see it, there's only, there's only two legit players that can get to this spot consistently. Like, I'm saying, like, you know exactly where they're going to go. The hand up, they're still making the shot. That's KD and Kawhi Leonard. That's one. And then you got to think about it. PG's having a great season. They could have they could have beat Brooklyn yesterday. He had 34 points, 12 out of 19 shots. But you know, that coaching staff, I don't know what they did not put him in, in the last three minutes of the game. So K the PG is playing great. And yeah, Kawhi. Kawhi Kawhi is different. 27 points. He's shooting 51% from the field. And they're only, I believe, a game behind the the Lakers. Where the Lakers have no AD, so I like their chances. And then, come on, the Sixers? You know, the Sixers. You know the Philadelphia the Sixers 76ers. Are, the Sixers are so inconsistent in the playoffs, like the Bucks. Come on now. How they inconsistent? Are you serious? It took, it, took, it took a Kawhi and a shot to knock them out two years ago. And then last year, Brett Brown, we knew he was dead coach walking, so we knew he was getting fired. So that, I don't even count last year. Okay. It took it took it took a, a, a so look. Is, is Joel gonna, gonna beat the Brooklyn Nets by himself? Cause that's exactly yep. what he has to do. He has to who, beat who, who, who gonna stop him? James Harden. Who gonna stop him? Kyrie. Who guard? Who guarding Joel Embiid? Who is guarding that big man? He he's been the best player in the East this year. Who's guarding Joel Embiid? He can have his little paint, his points in the paint. Cause we we'll take the threes. We have, ben, Sim- we have- ben, Simmons lock- ben Simmons locking KD or James Harden. I'm, I'm calling that right now. Okay, but we got Kyrie. Man. You got to choose. You got to choose. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a, I, I'm a, let, me, let me start over. Ben Simmons going to lock KD. Kyrie going to do Kyrie gonna do, Kyrie gonna do his thing. And James Harden just ain't going to show up because I've seen it for the last eight years. When it's time, he don't show up. He don't show up when it's time. He, my boy Kendrick Perkins said, really why he lost the finals that year. It was a uh, Magic City. He was a Magic City every night. And then he, he gonna be hanging out with meat. Me, he gonna be hanging out meat meals between games and stuff. Yeah, uh, he ain't gonna show up. Why do you think he came to the Brooklyn Nets to win a championship? No, nah, I haven't seen James. I haven't seen James Harden this focus on winning a championship ever. Man, you tripped. Did, did you not watch uh, what was that? We lost. We lost to um Cody State, but he was focused that year, bro. I've seen this story. I'm focused. I'm trying to win a championship. I'm doing this and that and that. And then when it's time, has game KD to- next. He has KD on the right side and Kyrie on the left side. What 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 has KD done outside of Golden State? Has, Wait, what, what, what what what? What has KD done outside of Golden State? What has he won without that team? What has Kyrie won without LeBron? Neither one of them know how to win. Okay. Be, what, has the won? what has the Sixers won? What has the Sixers won? What has Joel Embiid won? What has Ben Simmons Doc, won? Doc Rivers, Doc Rivers got that championship pedigree, dog. He going he to instill that in him. You see what he's doing, Joel? He got Joel playing great basketball. Okay, but he Doc got, Rivers not on the court. Doc Rivers is not playing. He don't, he don't have to be on he the court. Good. He can, he can, he can motivate him. 
They, they got Danny Green. Danny Green got three rings. He, he got oh, a championship man. pedigree. Don't talk they about got, Danny Green. I'm from Long Island. I know about Danny Green. Don't talk they, about they, Danny they got, Green. They got Dwight Howard. My boy can make a three for his life right now. I have Ben Simmons making a three over Danny Green right now. Let's be honest. They, Come on now. They got, they got Dwight Howard. He got a ring. Yeah, man, they, they got some championship pedigree over there, bro. They got they got more than Golden, uh, not Golden State, Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn got okay. his KD and Kyrie. That's all, and I don't trust them too when they're not playing with LeBron or the, the great Golden State team. Okay, so quick question. So, whose championship experience is more valuable to a team? Dwight Howard and Danny Green or Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant? Hey, like I uh, said, it's gonna it's gonna come down to the coaching. And Doc Rivers will out, he will coach circles around Steve Nash. He gonna coach circles oh, around Steve Nash. And it's gonna hold come on, down. I'm, let, 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 let me let's go back to the West. You you pick way off P. You pick way off P and the Clippers why you, to beat why, the Lakers. Why you switching up so easy for? Why you switching up so quick for? Because we, we, we gonna we, we way off P dog. Like he don't show up when it's time. He like James Harden. They don't show up when it's time. I don't care what they. I don't care what James James Harden and Paul George on the list right now. I don't care what he doing the regular season. I don't care what James Harden doing the regular season. It's a lot of players. I don't care what they do in the regular season. Paul George ain't gonna show up when it's time. I, I don't even think and I. I don't even think if the Clippers match, if they don't play the Lakers before they play Utah, I think Utah put the Clippers out. I think Utah match up perfectly for the Ooh. Clippers. Donovan Mitchell by himself? Nah, uh, you got Rudy Gobert uh, anchoring the Rudy, pick. Rudy, Rudy Gobert Man. what? Well, what does he Hold do? On, let me, play defense. Let, he can't score. Hold on, let, 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 a game. Hey, the way they move the ball, man, they bench a uh, Jordan Clark to coming off the bench, Joe Ingles, but Donovan Mike Conley playing great basketball. But there's a reason. The amount, why of, they, the they, amount they, of money that Rudy Gobert is, I guess, he should be putting up a Joel Embiid number. Okay, bro, he do his job. He do his job, bro. He he defensive player of the year candidate every year. He protects the paint. He gets the ten, the ten to twelve points. The, their plus minus with him on defense on the court and off the court is like night and day, man. He do his job because we know Don, really, Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell is not a great perimeter defender, so they just funnel everything to that big man. and He erases everything. But you know what team is a great perimeter team defensively? The Clippers. To me, the Clippers is the most balanced team. Offensively and defensively, especially with the wing defenders with Kawhi and PG. Roger, this is my question to you: Because the the Clippers have the same problem they had last year, this year. I mean, this year they had last year. When they get into the playoffs, and you need a point guard to set the play up and get the ball to the per- right person at the right time. Reggie Jackson doing that. Reggie Jackson gonna get the ball to Kawhi when it's time to give him the ball. When it's time to get the ball to Paul, Reggie Jackson doing that. Like they don't have a point guard, man. That's their problem. In the regular season, you can run, you can play up and down basketball. You can run people at the gym. But when it comes to that playoff and it slows down, you need that point guard to make the decision. I'll give me LeBron and Mike Conley over Reggie Jackson right now. Well, even well, Warren, Reggie Jackson not even a starting point guard. That is Patrick Beverly. <laughs> Man, that's even worse, bro. Patrick Beverly can't get no offense up. And two, if it comes down to running the play in the crunch time, it's probably going to be Kawhi bringing the ball up or PG bringing the ball up. And I'm perfectly fine with both them plays bringing that ball up and I'm not, running the show. Because Kawhi, Kawhi's not, no, he's not a play initiator. To me, he's, he's never been the, the play initiator. Like, if you give him the ball, it's like basically also like Jordan or Kobe style. You don't give him the ball to set everybody else up. He's never really been that. And they, they tried that last year. And he even said last year he didn't like doing it. He don't want to, He don't want the the sole responsibility of setting plays up. He's, but it can be Kawhi. done though. You know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? You know what's funny? A lot of people said that with James Harden when he was coming to the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, James Harden can't pass. He is going to score ISO this and that. And look what he's doing now. Averaging Roger, the points yeah. a game. Roger, averaging you, the most. To averaging the, my MVP is averaging the most assists in the league right now. Okay, Roger. You talking to a, a, a rock? You talking to a Rockets fan? I've watched James Harden, but his whole career. I'm on the Rockets no more. I know, but I'm just telling you, the people they they, they, they were delusional. 
he, they were delusional. That, that man can do whatever he want to do on the basketball court. I still hate when I watch him play when he passed the ball. He just stands on top of the key. I, I, I will forever hate that. Like he just stands there. He passed the ball. He just stands there. That's why against Philly, they they will lose because that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work. He, he you, you said who gonna stop James Harden? He gonna stop himself because he gonna pass the ball. He gonna stand right there, and then Ben Simmons gonna lock up KD, and then Tobias Harris is gonna lock up Kyrie. There, there we go. Are you serious right now? Philly the, is beating. Philly is beating. The bias the, Philly, locking up Kyrie. To, Come Tobias on. Harris. Just say that one more time with a straight face. Say with a straight Tobias, face. Tobias Harris is locking up Kyrie. Look at you. You smiling. Why you no, lying I'm not. Like that? Why are you lying well, to yourself like well, he, that? He might not lock him up, but he going to play defense on him. But y'all don't have nobody that can stop Joel Embiid. Joel, bro, Joel Embiid, it, he, he's on like he played like oh one Shaq this year, but right? he Wait, like he's dominating. He's dominating. I told you, Ben Simmons, though. I, I, I've I've said this since the since the segment started. I said Ben Simmons is gonna guard Kevin Durant. So James, so who's guarding James? Like who's guarding James? You you say oh James, Danny like, Green. So Danny Green, he's gonna be on the court. So Danny Green. All right, yeah. If that James. happens, if they do see each other with that hope. I could play this clip, man. I just can't wait to talk my hey, man. Hey, Brooklyn might not even uh, uh, Miami coming back into the fold, man. Brooklyn might even take out Miami. <laughs> now, you, you just love this. You just love hearing yourself. You know what's crazy? Hey, I'm Brooklyn, hot take that's trade Brooklyn that's gonna be the number hey. one seed in the Eastern Conference. Ask everybody on Spot on Sport. I'm hot take Trey. I was the only person on the, the whole network when Miami played the Milwaukee Bucks. I told them Miami was going to win. I was going to win easy. What happened? Got the Bulls out of there. Five. I'm hot take I Trey. Just, I would agree with you on that because we all know when it comes to the playoffs, the Bucks are no show. And not even the Bucks, specifically Giannis, is a no show. All right, so then we all know when it comes to the playoffs, there's one player on your team that you love that's your MVP. He don't show up. That's James Harden. Okay, and even if my MVP does have a bad game or two, I, we still have a former MVP and Kevin Durant and a champion and Kyrie that hit the crunch time shot. Okay. Um, all I'm saying is the Sixers is not stopping all three of them. Okay? Right, this is my last point. Uh, OKC had James Harden, and they had that so-called former MVP Kevin Durant, and they had Russell Westbrook. That, that was a young, that was a young team. What, what, you can't, it's what totally happened? different now. It's two it different ain't. players. No, nah, it's, it's, it's still Kevin Durant, and it's still, it's still. Bro. No, because the right, growth man. wasn't there. The growth wasn't there. You can't compare right. that. Come on now, you can't do that. I'm you make me win the argument now. Appreciate you. I, I'm, I'm going to compare it to Joel Embiid and the Sixers.